Hello and welcome. I am the Restless Kaiser. And I'm Johnny B. But together we are Modeling, Modeling for Advantage. Advantage. Dude! Test of honor. So Gary from uh, Grey for Games is working on a new game called... Zero two hundred, which is about creeping around in the dark, blowing up Nazi supply depots. And yes, so yes, forth. yes, yes, very much. He got, he got in touch and he he sent us a review copy of the rules, uh, which I'm reading through. They look quite interesting, uh, but he also said if we're interested in reviewing Test of Honor, we well, can have a go. So he's he's he sent us a set. First right. off, straight about. So you know, full full disclosure, I didn't pay for this. This was sent to me by company. He's got the license now. It's been around. It was at Warlord. Was it originally Warlord? I think it was somebody, I think right? Think so. Yeah. Yeah. And then I think it might have gone to somebody else. But now, anyway, he's got it now. This game, what I like about it is it's very similar to More Gods, which means and and Andy Hobday was involved in both of those games, so there's a lot of similarity. You know, yeah. You know yeah. what's going on. Yeah. Funny song. But straight off, mate. Just looking at the box artwork. The artwork, and actually, one of the things it wasn't pre-sealed, so I've had a, I've had a bit of a peek at this. Is the presentation in this game is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely. The the kind of the kind of pinky colour of all of this is 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 a motif. Agreed. And as soon as, as you open it, it's nice box. It's a not it's a nice upright box. This is the is, base set, is it? The base This game. is the basic set, yeah. This is Test of Honor, the miniatures game. Is this stuff's in neat little neatly packaged. Oh, and these a bit little multi part. Well, it's not because they're not needed yeah, all the compartments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they obviously can use this for a variety of different things. Um, but that stops because there's a lot of metal miniatures in this. This this current version of the game is very much there is. I think there is own range of metal miniatures. Okay. They're not plastic ones. You would have got previous ones. So the basic set includes the bits there. You've got you've got your tokens, and your wound markers, and your activation and what gods. And your manual. Oh, so, it's something a little bit, but it's beautiful. It's nice. It's really nice. And it's quite stylized. Oh, wow. Inside. We'll maybe get you some pictures of that. But it's actually quite a simple game in terms of it, in terms of its rules. You know, there's not a lot of. It wasn't difficult to read. You know, you get yourself a new 40k manual oh. and you're like, I don't know what this means. Yeah. This game did not feel like that. That's good. So, with this basic set, you get those and then you get a few other components. Now, the current star set, this one, it doesn't come with a lot of miniatures. That is because if a lot of people would want the new edition of the game, already have the collection, certainly the starter collection of miniatures. So if you buy this, you get one miniature which is the one pictured on the back here, which is the unarmored samurai. So if I open this now, whilst this chap over to you, John, do you want to have a wow. look at him? The other things we get in here is a mountain of cards, a small number of cards in a different baggie, and then your proprietary dice. Proprietary dice! Proprietary dice! So these have got hits, defenses, and like a wild card, right? Yes, absolutely. Uh, and there's a there's a fail one. There's an X. Ah. So when you make a test, if the number of X's exceeds the number of passes, then it's still a fail. Otherwise, otherwise they don't count. Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah. So if you've played Mortal Gods, let's get one of these cards out. In Mortal Gods, has got it tends to be an opposed system. So you make a number of attacks. I make a number of defense dice. You then roll for damage. But this game is heavily invested in in that samurai culture. So it isn't that them see not them more personal tests. Okay. So I test to hit, you test to dodge. So it's very much invested in the individual and what they're capable of. It doesn't matter how well you hit me, if I dodge, I dodge. That's sweet. That that kind of thing. Um which given the type of combat it's trying to represent, it's kind of samurai. Uh, culture, I think that that works really well. Um, and so to be able to evaluate the cards, when you look at the card, you can quite quickly evaluate because you pass a test with three successes. As a constant? As a constant, yeah. Okay. So the number of dice you get is... is, is That's the key thing, yeah, 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 yeah. So getting three successes on three dice, not that likely. Three successes on five dice, much more likely. There are things 
There's a special table at the back, depending on what weapon you're using, which I was, was quite an interesting idea. If you get, I think, five hits, you then get a special bonus. Like decapitated or something like <laughs> that, that. I don't think any of them are quite that good, but it's <laughs> along that kind of line. So if you're using the katana and you're striking, you get a deep cut. And deep, uh, if you get five or more swords on a damage roll. Right, a deep cut. Uh, if he fails his avoid roll, then you get plus one dice on the damage roll. Okay. So it's, we, not, it's not that big a deal. But with a katana, if you making your dodge roll, your avoid, you get a quick jab. And a quick jab is going to let you make a... Uh, you cause a wound if you roll, you roll one dice. And if you get a sword, it's a success. So you have a quick light wound. So I've succeeded the dodge roll. Yeah. And then I roll a dice. And I might yeah. be able to give you a little... If you succeed the dodge roll with five dice, oh, you get in a sneaky backhander, right. yeah, with a quick jab. Whereas with the Naginata, you don't get a quick jab; you get a counter strike. So it's different for the different weapons. Oh, that's good. Um, which is which is an interesting mechanic. Um, again, just talking about the uh, the the cards. Again, if you look at some of these, John, you know the, the art style is really strong. They're all in this kind of black and white and grey watercolours. I mean, that in itself is look, yeah. beautiful. The motif like that runs through Aged all. parchment card. So this game is set during the Sengoku Jidai, which is the period of the, what, the warring states, so the warring clans. And basically what's happened in Japan, um, in the period before this, the, the role of the emperor had fallen into relative decline in terms of authority, and that's been replaced by the shogun. Right. The Shogun is like the military leader. But in the single Kojinai, the authority of the Shogun has also collapsed. So you start with um, a war between two of the major clans over who becomes the next Shogun. Oh, There's dispute in that. Um, but for a period of hundreds of years, there isn't really stability in Japan. And it's, it ends with the Tokugawa Shogun which brings in the Edo period. And actually, interestingly, a lot of the art that you see, um, Japanese art and culture, it's Edo period. Because from, I don't know, 1600 to the 1850s, you have a period of almost uninterrupted peace. Wow. So what do you reckon to the, to the dude bro, John? The dude bro is lovely. You can't really see him here, but I'm sure there's pictures of him elsewhere. Um, it's pretty crisp detail. It's it's pretty sexy sweet, if I'm honest. Pretty pretty sexy sweet. They're quite nice. Now, I've played with some, not this specific one, but I've played with one of the, the faction starters, and uh, yeah, they're all right. Yeah. They're pretty nice. I can tell you, though, that there are some fragile details on some of the miniatures. Um, are there? Yes. Some of the swords are a bit... They're like proper... Proper thing. They're, they're meant to cut you. Right, right. They yeah. don't, obviously, but yeah, just be careful of those. But they're beautiful miniatures. So n another interesting mechanic of the game to give it its flavour is honour and dishonour. Oh. Yes, absolutely. So, for example, um, one of the key times when this is going to come up is if you attack... So, you know, you, you've, got, you've got alternate activations. You draw, from, okay. you draw from a bag. And like in Mortal Gods, you have some for your goons... And then some for your boss men. And then some for your boss men. Once you've acted, you're no longer able to actively defend yourself. Boo! When you strike, uh, when you attack somebody who's got no actions, they're not able to defend themselves, you get to make a choice. Do you act honourably or dishonourably? Do you shamefully take advantage of the fact that he's, uh, you know, he's, he's taking a strike or whatever and he's out of steam? Or do you give him a moment to catch his breath? This will affect your stats. Your, your chance to hit is going to change. You get an extra dice or lose a dice or something like that. I don't yeah. remember the details. But there's, yeah, there is but there's a, there's a he's, yeah, he's, he, I've caught him off guard. What do I do? Do I give him a moment or do I chuck him down? <laughs> now, what I like about it is you, is you collect, you collect these cards during the course of the game for honor and dishonor and, and you get, um, you know, collect penalties and bonuses from doing it. I'm not sure how impactful it is, 
but I really like the idea of leaning into the dishonour. Oh, honest. for sure, yeah, That's yeah. Like this, We're going to yeah, have yeah. to have one honourable, one dishonourable, obviously. Yeah, but I think we both want to be dishonourable. Yeah, right? I think. Well, why not? Let's just because it's how you win. It. Yeah, it's how you win. How you win? Kick him in the nose, um, man. But I think there's some mechanics about you have to have a similar number or the stats don't affect. So I think I, I think that there is some attempt to balance it so you can't okay. leverage it too much. Um, and then like the others, so you, you can't... Nicely, they've got different backs for the different types of cards, so you can quickly identify, these are my unit That's cards nice with that logo. Yeah, yeah this is my um, skill deck. Yeah. Skills, you say? So you earn skills during the battle. Right. Um, when To do with the honour and the dishonour cards, I think. So that will say, like, take this... When you particular. when you do something or don't do something, you can pull out a skill deck. Yeah, uh, pull from the skill deck, and then at the end of the game, you get to keep one of them. That's nice. Going I like that. The, you know, yeah. so it's, a, it's got a simple simple narrative to it. Um, you've got one of these quests, so you've got to mix it up with the missions, um, and then injury. So your heroes, and we keep forgetting this in Mortal Gods. Actually, mm. is your hero doesn't just straight up die when your hero's dead. You make a, a an honor check or something like that, and he might die or he might be just maimed. Okay. And if he's and if he's maimed, you draw one of these cards, which include um, you know minus one to agility for for a leg injury, etc. That that. What and these stay with your character, much like the skill. I don't card. know whether they stay with just... you to the next battle. Right. But whilst you're in game, whilst you're in game, that's yeah. good. Yeah. That makes a hero and, a proper hero. And just to stop you having so much of that stat that you can never lose, this can only happen once. Okay. You can't get a second injury; you're right. just straight up dead. Now there may be particular characters and skills that allow you to take a second injury, which is an interesting, uh, an interesting thing to look at. There's a healthy set of cards here, um, so I, I think there's, yeah. There's a fair old chunk of cards. There's a there's a there's a decent chunk of cards here, but one of the things that you get from hit the extra range of miniatures is additional cards. And yeah, you've got you've got m multiples. For example, the Ashigaru Long Musket Man, um, and it does have that mechanic like um, Mortal Gods, where there are bases of three men. Mm, I see that. Yeah. Yeah, which count as a count as a single unit um, with slightly higher stats, and it's a way because it's a test system. Your three, your three bowmen as individuals, maybe only ever going to throw three dice, right. needing three successes. But if you get a base However, of three of them, they can get that extra, you know. So, and because of the way that the skill check system works, that really matters. Five is massively better than four. Massive, three, three, you're going to struggle. Less than three, it's almost impossible to succeed. Oh, okay. But yeah. th there are there are two swords. I think you might get lucky. You might get super lucky. Look, that was just that was just the first look at it. What are we going to do with it? Well, um, among the stuff is John was also sent the uh, Sohai Yeah, the Sohai uh, Temple God. Temple yeah. God. So they, um, we've got some stills to show you he's, he's partway through painting some of those. Um, and we decided as a project, do you want to wave the other box? Right, yeah. Is we were going to paint these using yeah. the new army paint. Uh, um, speed paints. Speed paints, yeah. I never really got into contrast. I feel like I should have done. Um, so I decided because these are really small war bands, we were going to do them with speed pants. Speed pants? <laughs> speed <laughs> pants! Speed pants! Um, so the Sohai Rebels, uh, you've got, and I've got, rah, the You're other box, samurai. which is the Samurai War Band. And just to be super quick about it, yeah, we're going to do a separate video. Look, you get the same thing. You've got this compartmentalised thing more cards. here, and you get more cards. Now what I'm going to do quickly, because this is important for understanding how the game system works, is are these cards different from the ones in from the base? Because this is just the, the basic Samurai Warband. Oh, you show them the thing. So I'm already seeing... Oh, Zero to no detail on these pictures, but let's just look. They're right. Yes. So the honor and dishonor cards are, are new in here. Whoop, whoop. Um, you've got the <laughs> quest. Head taker. Ignore the effects of three follow up or move up bonus to go by our characters. Taking heads was a big thing in this period. They even had a head viewing ceremony. What? So when you finish the battle, how do you know you did well? Look at my collection of Kill heads. Kill this guy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 
Wow. Um, and indeed, apparently, it wasn't unknown for a samurai who had done poorly in the battle to find a helmet and put a head in it. <laughs> Just anyone's head? Maybe one of his retainers? No, you're joking! <laughs> Dave, <laughs> Dave, come in! Come in! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wasn't completely unknown to do that, believe I it or not. I think that's dishonour. <laughs> yeah, well, yes. <laughs> um, there's more skills in here, and that's good because that, um, that's how you to, to move in the direction this warband is particularly yeah. focused at. I'm not in a position to tell you what's good or bad no. about any of those. Um, so what about the miniatures, John? Yeah, again, a, uh, I mean, as fiddle. I say, I'm, I am having a fiddle. It's not that they're, they're super fragile, they're just a bit bendy, you see, sometimes. But look at yeah. this! They're dynamic. I think for metal miniature makers, they're they're free is a problem. Yeah, it is must that, have some bearing on the, 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 the They're kind of moving towards yeah. lead-free, but it's not quite what they want it to be, I think. Well, it's holding the detail. And I have a look. <laughs> These blurry images on the white background are no good, but check out... <laughs> Check yeah. out, what's the company called? Grey? Uh, Grey, for, Grey for now. Grey for Grey now. Grey for now. Check games. them out. Test of Honour. Yeah. Beautiful. So test, test of Honour. Um, so that was the, uh, had a look at the Samurai Warband and the Star Set. The other thing that's going to come with that is, of course, we're going to need a Japanese battlefield. So oh. part one was I got myself some beautiful little uh, orange trees. Oranges. Because I'm going to be, um, maybe not the Daimyo, he's like the Duke, but certainly part of the Satsuma clan. Because Satsuma, <laughs> Satsuma is a province in southwest Japan. I knew that. I knew that. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And, and that's presumably originally that's where, where Satsuma's come from. come from. So I'm going to paint mine with an orange. Let's see. Now that's probably not <laughs> accurate, but I'm going to lean into the Satsuma. Yeah, yeah, thing. yeah. For sure. Because uh, you've got your Iki Iko rebels. I will have some Iki Iki rebels uh, yeah. that come along and right. join me. But interesting looking game. Looking forward to it. Me too. See you in the future. Bye. Bye bye. If you're still here and you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's obviously a lot of ways down in the description, but a key way is to use our affiliate links to Whaling Games and others. You buy your models from them, it doesn't cost you a penny more, and we earn a little bit of commission. Thank you. Um, no, with a strike roll, you'd get a deep cut, and a deep cut is... Is that like a... Well, I guess it's like a level of woundedness. Yeah, I'm not... Maybe. It's somewhere. <laughs> I'm saying it's this. In there. I'd, I'd looked it up, and I thought it was right here. Is it on the page after? No. Well, folks, you get a deep cut. Beware. Katana and heavy sword. I was looking for the word katana, and it's got katana oh. and heavy sword. Right, a deep cut.